What shall we do today, B1? Hmm, I know B2. Let's visit Rat. After you, B1. No, after you, B2. <laughs> after you, B2. No, after you, B1. Thank you. Hello, Rat. That's odd, B1. Rat isn't here. I wonder where he is. Oh, cheese and whiskers. That, that sounds, sounds like Rat. rat. <laughs> Found you, Rat. Oh, oh, you startled me, Bananas. Sorry, Rat. But what are you doing back here? Trying to tidy up. This back room is full of junk. See? Can we help, Rat? Well, if you want to, Bananas. Let's start with that box, B1. That box it is, B2. <laughs> Cheese and whiskers. Sorry, Rat. Look at all these musical instruments. <gasps> Where did they come from, Rat? Oh, they used to belong to my brothers and sisters, Bananas. We had a little band. A band? Which instrument did you play, Rat? Here it is. <gasps> the saxophone. I wonder if I can remember anything. That was beautiful, Rat. We didn't know you could play so well. <laughs> well, I don't get much time for it these days. I probably should throw all these out. You can't do that, Rat. But what use are they, Bananas? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. Let's start a band! And we can use all these instruments. All right, Bananas. The problem with a band is that you need others to join in. Oh, don't worry, Rat. We'll get lots of others to join. Won't we, B1? Lots and lots, B2. Let's go and tell everyone right now. Bye, Rat! Why are we stopping, B1? Because that's the Teddy's house, B2, and we should ask them first. Good thinking, B1. Teddy! Teddy's! Bananas, what's all this noise about? We want you to join our band. Your band? The Cuddlestown Band. I didn't know Cuddlestown had a band. Well, so far it's just us and Rat. But it'll be a lot more if you join too. Wow. A band sounds like fun. Lots of fun. I'll join Bananas. I can play the violin. Oh, count me in. I can play the keyboard. And I'll join too. I can play the... the... Actually, I can't play anything. Does that mean I can't join? Of course not, Morgan. Rat has lots of spare instruments. Great. Then I'll definitely join too. Our first practice is in the park this afternoon. See you there. Did you find anyone else to join the band, Bananas? Oh, one or two, Rat. Look, here they are. Hey, Rat! Well done, Bananas. And welcome to band practice, everyone. Oh, please be careful with those instruments, Bananas. Sorry, Rat. Now, we're going to play a tune everyone knows. Can anyone guess what it is? The Cuddles Town Stomp! Oh, that's right. Everyone ready? One, two, three. Wait. I don't have anything to play. Oh, that's right. Come and choose an instrument, Morgan. Um, how about this? The bagpipes? Yes. They look like fun. All right. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Stop! Now stop! Perhaps it would be better if everyone practised at home first. And then we can have another full practice tomorrow, before our concert. 
What concert, Rat? I promised Skid I'd play a little something for his beach party tomorrow. But now we're a band, we can all play. I can't wait! So lots of practice, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, what's that horrible noise, B1? <sighs> it sounds like someone's in pain, B2. We, we better go and see what it is. What's that terrible noise, Lulu? I don't know, Amy, but it doesn't sound good at all. Hello, Teddies. Did the noise wake you too? Yes. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from your backyard. <gasps> You're right. Sounds like a monster. Oh, don't be silly. There's no such thing as monsters. It's coming from behind that bush. What should we do? You go around that way, and we'll go around this way, and we'll catch it in the middle. Ready, Ready set, go! go. <laughs> What's going on? Morgan! What are you doing out here? I came outside to practice, see? The bagpipes are so hard. I'll never learn in time for the concert. Don't worry, Morgan. Rat has lots of other instruments. Yes. Why don't you choose one that's easier to play? Good idea, Bananas. And maybe you can find one that's quieter too. How about this one, Morgan? Not really. Or this one? Uh, I'm not sure. What about this? this? Yes. That'd be perfect. It looks much easier than the bagpipes. Here you go, Morgan. I'm going to start practicing right now. Well, that's that problem solved, V1. I'm so glad Morgan found an instrument he likes, B2. Ah! What was that, B1? It's getting louder, B1. What is that appalling racket? I don't know, but it's coming from the Teddy's house. Oh, dear. Hello, Teddy's. Please don't tell us that's Morgan. Morgan! Morgan! Oh, hi, Bananas. Do you think I'm good enough to play in the band yet? Uh, well, you're definitely loud enough, but you might need to play a bit more in tune. Just a tiny bit more. I'll never learn to do that in time. I know you can play the triangle with me. Or the cymbals with me. <laughs> They're your instruments, Bananas, not mine. Come on, it's time for our final practice. We can't practice, Lulu. Morgan doesn't have an instrument to play. It's all right, Bananas. I guess I'll just have to watch. Oh. Stand by, everyone. One, two, three. <laughs> all right, stop, stop. Oh, that was terrible. I thought I asked you all to practice at home. I did, Rat. Me too. Amy and I know our parts perfectly. But if everyone knows their parts, why does it sound so horrible when we put it all together? It's a mystery, B1. A very noisy mystery, B2. Uh, Rat, I think I might know why. Everybody's playing all at once over the top of each other, so it sounds like a big tangled up mess. I think he's right, Rat. Ooh, what if we try starting at different times so you can hear each instrument? Good idea, Lulu. We just need someone to point at us when it's our turn to play. But uh, who can do that when we're all busy playing our instruments? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. Morgan can do it! Me? Of course! 
You just point at each of us when you want us to start. It would really help us, Morgan. But... Please, Morgan. Oh, all right. I'll try. Um, is everyone ready? Ready, Morgan! You start first, Topsy. And a one, and a two, and a three. Now you, Charlie. And now the bananas. Now Lulu. And Amy. And now Bernard. And Rat. And stop. That was wonderful, Morgan. Oh, dear. Oh, look at that time. We have to get down to the beach for our concert. Good luck, everyone. Have fun. You have to come too, Morgan. But I'm not in the band. Yes, you are. You're our conductor. Am I really? Of course. Come on. Oh, well done, everyone. But we couldn't have done it without our conductor. Let's hear it for Morgan the Bear. <laughs> oh, bananas! <laughs> uh, one for Rat. One for Amy. One for Lulu. One for Morgan. And, and two, two for us. us. Look there, B2. It's a little possum, B1. Hello, Hello possum. <coughs> oh, sorry we woke you. We're picking apples for our story time tonight. The teddies and rat are coming over and reading us a story. Don't let go! Oh, sorry about that, Possum. We'll be more careful next time. <laughs> you want to know about tonight? And what story we'll have? Uh, we don't know yet, but it's probably got elves and fairies in it. And gnomes and goblins. It'll be jama rama <laughs> We better get going. We have to get everything ready. Oh! Oh, sorry, B2. No problem, B1. Bye, Possum! That should do it, B2. Everything's ready for story night, B1. Some fruit and some juice. And the story for Lulu to read. Pixies. Elves. Gnomes. Goblins! Oh, that must be the teddies now. And Rat! Hi, everyone. Uh, hello? I'm sure someone knocked, B2. But no one's here, B1. The back door. We're at the wrong door, B1. Let's go. Uh, B2? B1! Why are you out there? You shut me out, B2. Oh, sorry, B1. After you, B1. <laughs> Thanks, B2. Hello! Uh, hello? No one's here either, B1. This is very strange, B2. I'm sure someone was knocking. Knocking? Just like that? Oh! <gasps> Knocking is upstairs, B2. Oof! Now it's coming from that wall. It's moving all through the house. I think we should move too. Look out, bananas! What a commotion! What's up, bananas? <laughs> Inside! N -n knocking! Knocking? No, 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 knocking! Well, we do need a little more explanation than that, Bananas. 
<laughs> There's lots of knocking inside our home. But, but, but we don't know what's making it or who's making it. How extraordinary. We better hear this knocking for ourselves. We'll find out what it is. A fabulous idea. Let's all go in and discover what these noises are about. Lead on, Rat. Um, uh, why don't you go first, Teddies? I just need to, to, to polish my shoe. This rat is not interested in strange noises. Not interested at all. Rat, where are you going? Come on, we're all waiting for you. Oh, cheese and whiskers. There's no noise in the kitchen, Bananas. And there's no sound from inside the wall. And I couldn't hear any strange sounds from upstairs. Excellent. I knew it was a lot of fuss about nothing at all. But there is scratching. Scratching. And there's the knocking. Knocking. Now do you believe us? We do, Bananas. Look. <laughs> ah! This rat is out of here. We shouldn't be scared of a few little noises. But what's making them? And why? Well, if you ask this rat, and I'm sure you were just about to, I'd say it could only be one thing. What thing, rat? You must have a spooky in your house. A spooky? What else could it be? Uh, uh, but there's no such thing as spookies. How do you know? Well, because... Uh, uh, because... Uh, Lulu? Spookies only exist in stories. That's why. Have you ever seen a spooky rat? Uh, no. They only come out at night. Only when they think you're asleep. These spookies sound a bit naughty, B2. <gasps> Very naughty, B1. All right, Rat. If you're right, we know what to do then. We'll stay the night with the bananas. You will? And see who's really making these noises. Spookies or no spookies. I, I suppose you want me to stay too. You are the spooky expert, Rat. <laughs> so I am. Oh, oh, double cheese and whiskers. This is great, B2. First we discover a mystery knocker and scratcher. And now we have all our friends coming for a sleepover. pajama -rific! Isn't this fun? It's just like camping, but inside. And since we came back, we haven't heard a thing. If there were spookies, they must have left. But what do you think, spooky expert? Uh, well, uh, spookies are very tricky, you know. They might just be having a bath or eating dinner. Or maybe they're not even real. Or not even. Of course they're real. They're probably sleeping, that's all. <sighs> Asleep. That's a good idea. I'm with you, Morgan. We're two tired bananas. Ready for bed. I'll turn the lights off. Leave the lamp on, Morgan. Just in case the spooky wakes up. Good thinking, Rat. Then we'll see it. <sighs> I'm sorry we didn't read the story tonight, Bananas. That's all right, Lulu. It's great to have you all staying with us. Nighty-night, everyone. Good night! Sometimes when we've said good night And the hands turned out the light on the wall we see the features of some sneaky spooky creatures But we know, we can feel, that they're not really, really real Oh silly shadows in the dark Go and play out in the park Cause you won't trick us, no big surprises and you won't be You're not real. I see it. I see it. 
What is it? Mm. What do you see? A spooky! Uh, that's not a spooky rat. That's the shadow of the curtains. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so it is. I saw shadows. Me too. But they were just shadows. They weren't spookies. We see spookies. Two of them. Where? There. <laughs> <laughs> They're no spookies. They're bananas. Bananas? It is us. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you saw spookies. But it was just your imagination. <laughs> so it was. Lucky you turned on the lights, Morgan. Uh, but I didn't turn on the light. But if you didn't turn on the light, who did? Spooky! <laughs> it's locked! Oh, where's the key, Bananas? We've got the key. Then give it to me! Uh, we've lost the key! Spookies! What's happening? Who's doing it? The spookies are squeaking. What sort of spooks squeaks? <laughs> that squeaking B1. We know that squeaking B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am B2. It's ladder time! Be careful, Bananas! Oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh, what if they do find a spooky? What do you see, Bananas? Any spookies? No, but we do see a friend. <laughs> a a possum? All those noises were made by our possum friend. Why did she do that? She came into our roof so she could listen to our story tonight. But she got herself trapped and she was trying to tell us so we could rescue her. <laughs> she says thank you for your help. I knew there was a good explanation for all those strange sounds. You see, Rat? <laughs> of course I see. I knew all along that it wasn't a spooky. Really? Oh, yes. This rat is far too smart to worry about silly things like spookies. <laughs> spookies? Who'd believe in such things? Not me. <laughs> Spooky! Help! Help! Oh, my silly rat in the hat! We add some water. Now to check the muddiness. Mmm, muddy delicious. But there's only one way to be absolutely sure. On your mark. What's Pedro doing, B1? Yay! <laughs> Perfect. What are you doing? Oh, my cousin Pancho is coming to stay all the way from the city. So I'm making my pen all nice and muddy. It certainly is muddy, B1. His bus should be here at any moment. Why don't you come along and meet him? We'd love to, Pedro. <laughs> so, this is the country, eh? I don't think this visit's going to be much fun at all. Hi, Pedro. Pedro? How about that? He thinks that I'm my cousin Pedro. Maybe there is a chance to have some fun. Hey, you've got some sharp moves there, my man. Your man? I'm Morgan, remember? Of course I do, Mervyn. Mind if I borrow your skateboard? Uh, OK, sure. Mervyn? I hope we haven't missed the bus. There's Morgan. He'll tell us. Hello, Morgan. Oh, hi, Bananas. How did you get there, Pedro? And where's my skateboard? Hoity ho, everyone! There are two Pedros. This is my cousin, Pancho. 
Hello, cousin. Delighted to see you. Ha! All you there, Pedro? Oh, you always were a great trickster. Not just a great trickster, Pedro. The best trickster. Oh, meet my friends, the bananas. Pleased, Pleased to, to meet, meet you, you Pancho. Come on, I'll show you my pen. And later we can have a welcome to Cuddles Town party and I'll bake the honey cakes. Woohoo! See? I bet they don't have mud this good in the city. Yes, Pedro, very nice, I'm sure. As I was saying, once I put an egg in my best friend's hat and when he put it on his head, splat! You really do like playing tricks then, Pancho. I certainly do, Bananas. Here, would you like to smell my flower? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> got you. I'm the best trickster ever. I don't know about that. What? You might be a good trickster, but Rat is the best trickster ever. Really? And where does this tricky rat live? He's got a shop in town. How interesting. Well, I'm off for a walk, just to take a look around. And we'll go home to get ready for the party. Trickier than me, eh? Ah, Pedro, and what can I do for you on this fine day? I'm not Pedro, Mr. Rat. I'm Pancho, Pedro's cousin. Are you indeed? Oh, welcome to Cuddles Town. How do you like our little town so far? It's like nowhere I've ever been before. And I've just seen the most amazing sight. You have? What's that? Well, I just saw two bananas with the biggest, most delicious piece of cheese I've ever seen. A big cheese, you say? An enormously big cheese. And they're going home to eat it all by themselves. Those greedy bananas. I'll soon sort that out. Ah, this is too, too easy. You greedy bananas! How dare you not share your cheese? What cheese? I know all about it. All about what, Rat? Hi, everyone. Have you seen Pancho around? I bet you're here to eat their cheese too. What cheese? <laughs> I got you a good one. What a great trick I just played. What trick? There never was any cheese. But you said... I only said that to trick you. What? Trick me? I just wanted to show who's the trickiest. <laughs> we'll see about that. Everyone knows that a country rat is no match for a city pig. Pancho. It's all right, cousin. From now on, there'll be no more tricks from me. I'm very pleased to hear that, Pancho. Then you get ready for the party, and I'll go and get the honey cakes from Mervyn. Morgan! Hello, Pedro. Oh, or is it Pancho? It's Pancho, and I'm here to pick up the honey cakes for the party. This isn't a trick, is it? Why would I do that? You're right. See you at the party. Bye! When they open the bag, it won't be honey cakes they find. I won't just trick one of them. This time, I'll trick the whole town. <laughs> That's everything packed for the party at the park, B1. Here, bananas. The honey cakes for the party. Thanks, Pancho. Are you going to come with us? No thanks, bananas. I'll see you there later. First, I have to eat these delicious honey cakes. Are you sure you know the way, Pancho? I'm quite sure. We'd hate you to get lost. Thank you, Bananas. But I'd just like to take a short walk to see more of your delightful little town. See you soon, Pancho. <laughs> We're here with the honey cakes. 
Oh, thank you, Bananas. As Cuddlestown's most important citizen, I'll have mine first. But, Rat, shouldn't we wait for Pancho? He's the guest of honour. Oh, very well, then. At least, let me smell them. Huh? Wait a minute. These don't smell like honey cakes. They smell like... Pine cones! There were honey cakes in the bag when I gave them to Pancho. But how come the bananas have the bag? Uh, Pancho gave it to us. He tricked us again. Maybe there's just been a mix-up. We'll go and find him. And I'll go and bake some more honey cakes. Now, the last place we saw Pancho was... There! there. Look, B1! <gasps> honey cake crumbs, B2! Follow those crumbs! Mmm! <laughs> Delicious! Now, to head back to town. Which way is town? Maybe it's this way. This doesn't look right. It's not this way either. Oh no, I think I've lost. Help, somebody, help. The bananas have been gone a long time. And what about Pancho? Uh, maybe he got lost. That means the bananas have got lost looking for him. I know, Bernard, we could launch your balloon. Then we can try and see them from the air. A brilliant idea, young Morgan. Lucky we have these crumbs to follow, B1. Oh, what is it, B2? The honey cake trail has come to an end. I've never been in this part of the bush before, B2. Neither have I, B1. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. We're, We're lost. lost. And we don't even know where Pancho is. Somebody, anybody, help. That way! Oh, this is all my fault. If only I hadn't been so greedy. No one will ever find me out here. Yes, we will. Bananas! How did you find me? We just followed your trail of honey cake crumbs. Oh, wonderful! That means we can just follow the trail of crumbs back out again. Right! What are we going to do? Uh, any sign of the Morgan? Uh, no, nothing yet. The bush is too thick to see anything. Huh? That's the bag I gave Pancho, and it came from that way. Why, oh why, did I ever leave the city? Don't worry, Pancho, we'll find a way out. Oh no! A dead end! That sounds like Morgan! Up here, Bananas! Go that way, Bananas! That's the way back home! Thanks, Morgan! Follow us, Pancho! We've got a party to go to! I'm so sorry for taking those honey cakes, but I can assure you all that I'll never play tricks on anyone here again. How do we know you keep your word, Pancho? Because I'll never be coming back here. Here we are, everyone. Honey cakes for all. I say, Pancho, would you like to smell my flower? You don't expect me to fall for that old trick, do you? But of course, you city pigs are much too smart for that. A honey cake? Why, thank you, Rat. Rat is definitely the trickiest trickster in all of Cuddlestown. <laughs>
Good morning, Rat. It's amazing. What's amazing? Oh, come to my shop and look for yourselves. Let's go look. <laughs> what is it, Rat? What's so amazing? A couple of weeks ago, I planted a honey cake. Huh? Why would you do that, Rat? So I can grow a honey cake tree. <gasps> a honey, honey cake, cake tree? tree? So whenever I want a honey cake, I just go and pick one, fresh from the tree. I picked all these this morning. pajama -rific. Where's the tree? Can we see it? Do you really, really want to see my honey cake tree? Yes, please. We really do. Then follow me. Behold, a honey cake tree. Huh? That's a honey cake tree? It's just a stick and a picture of a honey cake. <laughs> oh, don't you know what today is? No. no. It's April Fool's Day and you are all April Fools. <laughs> oh, a trick. We always forget April Fool's Day. I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. It's so easy to make April Fools out of you all. I really am very good at it. Yeah, well, we could make an April Fool of you, rat. What? Trick the king of tricks. Never. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's trick time. Follow us, Teddies. They think they can trick me. Ha! They haven't got a chance. I'm going to find out what their trick is before they get a chance to play it. Uh, hello there. A lovely day, isn't it? Any news? We've been talking, Rat. We think you're right. Uh, remind me what I'm right about. We couldn't make an April Fool out of you. We could never out-trick you. True. But you must be going to do something, even a little tiny trick. No, nope. nothing at all, Rat. Bye, bye Rat. Rat. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, bye then. Amazing. I never thought they'd give up so easily. Or have they? Sometimes I say I won't play a trick, but that's exactly when I do play a trick. What if the Bananas and Teddies are doing that? <laughs> no, 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 no. They're not that clever. <laughs> but maybe they are doing that. That's it. They want me to think they're not playing a trick, and then they'll play their trick. Well, they can't trick me. I'll find out what their trick is, and I'll be ready for it. They're coming. So is everything ready, Bananas? Oh! Everything's ready, Lulu. I can't wait. And what about Rat? Rat won't be expecting it. We'll see you later, Bananas. Bye, Bye Teddies. So, everything's ready, hey? And they think I won't be expecting it. But I will, because I'll find out what those bananas are up to. Bananas! Nice to see you! We've got something to tell you. Then come inside. Now, let's see what those bananas are doing. Cheese. A big piece of cheese. How could that be part of a trick? Unless... Of course! It's a piece of rubber cheese. They'll get me to take a bite. Then everyone laughs and says, April Fool. As if I'll fall for that old one. <laughs> oh! It'll be at our house, Charlie. I'll be there. This is going to be fun, B2. 
So they think it will be lots of fun to trick me. Well, they better think again. This rat is going to get super tricky. It's time for a disguise. Where to now, B2? To see Bernard, B1. <laughs> the bananas didn't spot me at all. Now let's see what they're going to tell Bernard. Do you think that post box is following us, B2? I think it might be, B1. But how could a post box follow us? It would have to have legs. <laughs> <laughs> legs? <laughs> no. no. Ah, bananas. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, Bernard. We've come with an invitation. Come in and tell me all about it. So, they're inviting Bernard to be part of the trick. I'll soon find out what that's all about. Flowers? What sort of a trick uses flowers? Of course. It's one of those trick flowers. I go to smell it and get squirted with water. <laughs> but how does that fit in with Charlie's rubber cheese? Oh, no. So will you join us, Bernard? I'll be there, Bananas. Jamarama, Bernard. Now for Rat, B2. We'll head straight for his shop, B1. Now for Rat, they say. Are they going to play the trick on me now? I must get to my shop before they do. Oh. oh, I made it before the bananas. So they're going to trick me. But I'm the king of tricks. I'll trick them first. A bucket of custard. Oh, what a delicious trick. When the bananas walk in the door, the bucket will tip. Custard, plop! Oh, rat! Oh, uh, come in, bananas. a big lunch, Rat. And we want you to be there. Uh, uh, lunch? And we'll have lots of honey cakes. Oh, honey cakes? Uh, but you can't do that. Uh, I've already played a honey cake trick. We told you. We're not going to play a trick on you. We just want you to come to lunch. Well, I'm not one to say no to lunch. And there's no trick. No, no trick. trick. Well, very well, then. I'll be there. pajama -rific. I don't believe it. There must be a trick. What have they been doing all day? And why didn't my custard trick work? Oh, I see. It needs a good stir. Oh, no. Stop them now. Cheese and whiskers. <laughs> All right, I give in. I surrender. Rat, what have you done to yourself, poor boy? Sit down, Rat. Tell us what happened. If you're going to make me an April Fool, please trick me now. We're not going to trick you, Rat. We promised you we wouldn't. Isn't saying you're not going to play a trick part of the trick? No. There's no trick. No trick. But, Bananas, why were you going around the village talking to everyone? We were inviting everyone to our lunch. Well, what about the tricky rubber cheese you gave the Bananas, Charlie? Rubber cheese? <laughs> it's real cheese, Rat. <laughs> it is real cheese. 
but you're squirting flower, Bernard. That was definitely a trick. They're real flowers. <laughs> they are real flowers. So, there really is no trick. The only trick here... ...is the trick you played on yourself. By thinking there was a trick. When there wasn't. Oh, I tricked myself. I am an April Fool. You did trick yourself, Rat. And that's how it should be. Uh, why bananas? The only person who could trick the rat in the hat... ...is you, Rat. The, the king, king of, of tricks. tricks. Long live the king of tricks. Hooray! Oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs>